Hello everyone, my name is John Dole, right here in Tokyo, doing another edition of the Ghost Letters Report. I'm sure by now everyone has seen what's going on here in Japan currently with this um, state secrecy law. And I'm sure a lot of people have seen some of the outrage and some of the anger that everyone here is feeling. Now, if you don't know about this law, it's been going on for quite some time. It's been in the plans and discussions for several years now. And finally, you know, it came to a vote, you know, in the lower house of the Japanese parliament, and it passed. Pretty easily passed under the current uh, leadership of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. What does this law do? Well, we can look at the basic effects of it first. Basically, it allows any bureaucrat in a government to declare anything a state secret. Now, once it becomes a state secret, no one outside of government will have access to it. If any government official leaks that information or any journalist gets a hold of the information, you face immediately 10 years in prison. Couple that with the fact that the Japanese justice system has a 99% conviction rate and often convictions are gotten of nothing more than a few con forced confessions. You can see the road we're going down here in Japan. One of the other major concerns is about nuclear power and energy here in Japan related to Fukushima. Now when they say anything, they can declare a state secret, they do mean anything. They can use some excuses here. They're going to um, say about diplomacy, they're going to use diplomacy, counter-terrorism, and security. Those are vague, vague categories. Very vague. And trust me, people have taken to the streets here in Tokyo. People are angry. Rightfully so. But you're angry now? After all the things that have happened in Japan. All the things that continue to happen in Japan. You're angry now? You didn't see this coming. Are we serious, Japan? You know, now you want to get reactionary. Without thinking. You want to wait until now. Well, at least the people here are standing up. And this could very well be the final straw that breaks the camel's back here. Because the whole control mechanism in Japan of the bourgeois and, of course, the capitalist and the political clash, you know, the whole upper elite there. They're taking this country down a very, very authoritarian path. Much more than what we've had before. And this state secrets law, it goes in a hyperdrive, you know. 
And who knows what's going to happen in the coming weeks. Because later, next few days I imagine, this is going to end up in the House of Chancellors. Which what you may know as the upper house in Japan. And that's expected to go through. Because the um, LDP has an overwhelming majority in the upper house and the lower house. And we'll get that through. Yeah. This is the point. This is the point we're at in Japan. Authoritarianism taking over like never before here. I'm not surprised by this, you know, to be honest. I'm really not. Because they have to do something to maintain their power and control here. Because they're losing their grip on things. People are wising up. It was Fukushima that sparked all this. When I first came in Japan, you didn't see a lot of protesting. You didn't see a lot of people standing up, you know. Of course, you saw the right wing and other fascist groups, you know, run the muck all the time on the street, screaming and shouting at people, you know, and doing all the heinous activities they do. But you didn't see much of a response. Small responses. And you can imagine how those people were treated. But after Fukushima, something snapped in the mass population here. Something changed in their mindset. Fukushima made it impossible for the average person to ignore things anymore. You know, put their head in the sand. So now you see people protesting stuff like this, getting angry, going to the streets and staying there, okay? There's been continual daily protests going on here. Like I said, you know, this may be the, the final straw, you know, this secrecy law where the powers that be are going to completely disconnect themselves from the people. Sever the few last little connections they have. It's kind of like, you know, circling the wagons at this point. You know, they scared, again scared. This is this is a reaction to that fear of the people. They're gonna cut themselves off, circle the wagons, and anybody gets near them, boom. They're gonna come after people. You know. So I don't expect things to get better for a while here. But you know my perspective, you know who I am. You could pretty much guess what I would say we all here in Japan need to do. But that depends, you know. As long as you have these social democrats trying to re lead resistance movements, movements, excuse me, you're not going to get the result you want. This is going to continue to happen. But, you know, I'm just one person. One gaijin here in Japan. You don't have to listen to me. But I think, you know, logic should sink in at some point. So that's all I'm, I'm really going to say at this point about the secrecy law and the, resi and the things going on here. So... Until next time, this is John Doe in Tokyo. Check it out.